OK, everyone wants their website to rank high on search engine results like on Google. But for that to happen, first, you need to make your website SEO friendly. Now, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. SEO friendly means to make your website optimized to rank well on search results. So to make your WordPress website SEO friendly, there's one plugin that you should install. It's called the Yoast SEO plugin. Now, by the way, I'm not in any way affiliated with the company that built this plugin. I just feel that it is an awesome plugin that you need to install. And over 1 million websites agree to that. This Yoast SEO plugin sets the SEO foundation of your website. It does all the basic and necessary SEO stuff in your WordPress website. It does things like creating the meta tags for your website. As you can see here, these are the meta tags, and these tags are essential for search engines to read your website. These meta tags are also used when people are sharing your content of your website on social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and etc. The next thing it does is that it generates an XML sitemap, which you could see here. It's a list of computer readable file which contains all which basically lists all the content that you have on your website so that Google search engine could read your website efficiently. The other thing that it does is it actually submits your website to Google via this Google Search Console here. So Google Search Console is a tool for you to tell Google about the content on your website so that it will appear on search results. This method is called indexing. So it also checks how well your website is ranked on Google Search for specific keywords, such as here. So it shows you the number of clicks that you get whenever your website appears on a search result and the position, which means whether it ranked first, second, or third, or tenth, the click-through rate of the times that it appears, which, it, which means that it appears 25 times. Of these 25 times, 10 times it was clicked, which results in a 40% click-through rate. So you want your website to rank high on Google search engine result. So you definitely want to get your website on this Google search console here. Now Yoast SEO also helps to create more or better SEO friendly content on your website by targeting specific keywords and improving your article's readability. For instance, this is an article on my website. If you go down here, you'll find a section by Yoast SEO, which helps you to target your article for a specific keyword. So keyword I enter here is Facebook, and it does an analysis of how well I use this keyword on my article. It also checks the readability here and it analyzes how well this article was written. So that's the beauty of Yoast SEO plugin and it's definitely something that you want to install on your WordPress website. Now to search for this plugin on WordPress just go to add new under the plugins menu and in this search bar here enter the word Yoast and this should appear. Then click on install now. Then click activate. Once you have activated your plugin, you will see an icon here. This is the icon for Yoast SEO. Then click on configuration wizard. 
So this is the first step that you need to take to configure your WordPress website with Yoast SEO. So you could actually do it yourself here by clicking this button, or you could ask the people from SEO, the people from Yoast SEO to do it for you. So since you're watching this tutorial, this is where I'm going to teach you how to configure it yourself. Click on Configure Yoast SEO. Now we're going to go through this research here. There are a few steps we need to take. Step 1 all the way to step 12. All right, so your patience is highly appreciated. But don't worry, it's not going to be very difficult. It's going to be very easy, non-technical stuff you're going to do here. All right, so now let's assume that your website is already live and ready to be indexed. Indexed means that your website is ready for search engines like Google to crawl to read all the content. If you're not ready, you can always select option B. So I'm going to select option A here. Click next. So what does the website do? It's a blog. Next. So is it a company or a person? So it says it's a company. So the name of my company is this and the logo is this. You could always upload your logo here and name it as whether if you are representing yourself, you can put it as a person. It's up to you. Then click next. All right, so this is where you enter the social profiles for your company. If you have, if you have any Facebook page, enter it here. If you have any Twitter username, Instagram, LinkedIn, and so forth, enter all of them here because it's going to be important for your SEO to generate the meta tags that you need. So go next. Okay, post type visibility. So you want your posts, which are like all your articles, which are like your articles, your news to be visible. Of course you want them to be, to be visible. Of course you want them to be visible. 